A town rooted in history and replete with natural resources, Sambogita derived its name from an incident involving a cogita or octopus. Located at the southern tip of the province of Negros Oriental, it is about 28 kilometers from Dumaguete City. The town is one of the coconut producing municipalities in the province. In 2003, at least 10 officers from 10 SCFOs in the municipality formed themselves into a cooperative now known as the Sambungita Coconut Farmers Multipurpose Cooperative or Sascofamco. The organization was registered with the Cooperative Development Authority on January 14, 2004 with 38 cooperators with an initial capital built upon of 19,000 pesos. To date, the club has a total of 438 members with an aggregate member's equity of 3.10 million pesos and a total assets of 10.46 million pesos as of June 30, 2017. For the year 2004-2013, economic activities of the club only include micro-lending, fertilizer loans, and consumer store. The club during these years was struggling financially and they felt the need to venture in an enterprise that would revitalize the organization. It was also during this time when PCA and DTI is strongly campaigning for the processing of coconut husk into foyer and its allied product. In 2014, the DTI through their shared service facility project delivered to the organization 4 units of looming machines, 100 units twining machines, and 50 units weaving machines. On the same year, PCA also provided 1 unit decorticating machine. Faced with the dilemma where to get the operational funds, the club negotiated with then Mayor Keith Adanza to provide for the startup capital. Positive on how the project will impact his constituents, Mayor Adanza provided the seed fund through a 250,000 pesos loan with Land Bank. The foyer processing business of the cooperative started to roll up. Initial operations employed 12 persons and later increased to 68 workers, of which 78% are women. Highest gross income of 2 million pesos was obtained in 2016. Marketing strategies include sample installation and targeted buyers, conduct of visits to contractors, and participation in trade fairs and exhibits. Finding markets of your product is no joke, but through persistence, they were able to capture the following buyers. Sunamco, part of Ayala Corporation operating a prawn production project. Oikendad, Supreme Builders, Feel South, QM Builders, Kalahi Seeds, and recently an unlimited order of choir hangs from a buyer in Mindanao. From the profits earned, the club was able to pay for the 250,000 pesos loan used as initial capital, bought additional unit of deco machine, small hauling truck, Purchase of 6,000 square meter lot. Construction of co op building. The Coir Enterprise is greatly instrumental for the revival of the cooperative. Because of it, the co op regains its bankability and existing economic activities were enhanced. Its consumer store is now reaching, on the average, an annual cross sale of 4 million pesos. Having 
being awarded with a Certificate of Good Standing from CTA and having obtained its field jobs registration are proof that the organization has established a good internal control and records management. With new life, new opportunities also came in, one of which is the call of winning the bidding for the conditional cash transfer for 4 piece beneficiaries of DSWD and is now enjoying a bi monthly incentive of 20 pesos per 4 piece beneficiary. In 2015, it also started its Copra marketing business, consolidating the produce of its coconut farmer members and directly selling Copra to the Dumaguete Coconut Oil Mill. Due to its good standing, Dotcom is granting a 10 centavo incentive per kilo of copra to the co-op. The choir processing enterprise of Sasco Famco is a better sweet experience for the organization as it faced many challenges from production to marketing. Dagan tayo salamat sa tabang bisan sa kalisod sa among kooperatiba ang iaging yun o bagyo kay mayon ko kung bagyo ako ikalima ka manager dili sa kooperatiba nga nagsagubang sa dagan tayong problema o wala na ako damhang ang ining mga mga tuig 2017 nakita na ako ang mga grasya nga sa makadaghan gayod nga niabot sa among kooperatiba. Apart from the financial gains, the co-op considered it as the most significant achievement of being able to generate employment and changing lives by enhancing income of poor families. Ako si Susana Atulio. Sa unang panahon, wala akong tabaho. Nya kadung ko nga na ay kuan sa pisian nang apply ko ama pugda ko kay ang akong lugar wa masweldo kada siwana nakatabang kayo og dako sa akong anak mga anak og apo nga na nag-eskwela sila ba ako si Jocelyn Lagrama sa una wala ko ay trabaho naara ko sa balay gabantay bata ako ramba na ang nagtrabaho dayon nakasulod ko din ni Ka-income na ko o 3,200 kada bulan o salbay na kaayo ang mong panginabuhi. Zasko Fanko has also unselfishly shared its expertise in choir processing, not only in Negros Oriental, but also in the provinces of Bohol and Cebu. Indeed, this coconut farmer-based cooperative has become a principal driver of the region's developing coir industry. The joint efforts of the government agencies coupled with the entrepreneurial spirit of Sasco Famco is key to successful economic enterprise. <laughs>